so today I'm going to be doing my November wrap-up which is actually insane considering like today's December 1st like that's so crazy the year is almost over and we're in my favorite month now you know we got Christmas we got New Year's we got my birthday lots of exciting stuff going on in this but month. I'm very excited to show you guys what I read in November I read quite a few really good books so I'm just gonna get on into the it. first book that I read in the month of November is Rainbow Rowell's Attachments which Oh my god, guys, I loved this book. I think it's now my favorite Rainbow Rowell book out of Fangirl, Eleanor, and Park, and Attachments. I'm pretty sure Attachments is my favorite. I know some people say that, like, they can't relate to the characters, they can't get attached to the characters. I was so attached to these characters. I thought Lincoln was so adorable. I thought that Beth was so adorable. If you don't know what this book is about, it is about a guy named Lincoln who's in his late 20s and he works as like a tech kind of guy at this newspaper and he basically just spends the night shift reading people's emails that get flagged for inappropriate content and this girl Beth and one of her friends email back and forth during the day and they pop up the emails that they, her and her friend sent pop up in his box and he ends up reading them and he doesn't really tell him to stop he just kind of continues reading them and he finds himself falling for Beth and he's kind of like wow it's too late can't really go up to you and be like oh yeah you're cool I read your email like you're really interesting like if you like Rainbow Rowell's books you'll definitely love this one if you haven't read it yet so totally recommend five out of five stars next book I read is pretty random actually but I needed to get it and that's Grace's Guide The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown-Up by Grace Helbig and it's kind of just Grace's guide you know, there's pictures, there's little stories. She has different, like, chapters on different things about life and different stuff like that. If you don't know, Grace Helbig is a YouTuber here on YouTube. She makes comedy videos, and she's hilarious, and I love her. And so I had to support her and go pick up her book, and I actually did read it front to back cover. So, yes, I really liked it. I mean, I'm not an adult, but I still thought it was really funny and clever and cute and... I really do like Grace. So, A plus for you, Grace. Five out of five stars. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the three books that kind of drove me out of this downward reading slump that I was just getting nothing done. I wasn't reading anything. Like, in October, I barely read anything. And this uh, series kind of helped me get back into the swing of things. And that is the Selection series. We've got the Selection. We've got the Elite, and we've got the One, and oh my gosh, you guys, this is a fantasy series by Kira Cass. I'm sure you've all heard of it. Like, I'm a little bit late, I know, but this series is so good. I loved this series. Five out of five stars, every single book. I can't. I'm so happy that I finally found something that's not contemporary that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed, and I have to say I enjoyed this series so much. I loved it. I loved every character. I loved every moment. I thought it was so interesting. If you don't know, it's basically about this girl named America who lives in this country, I guess, called Aia, which takes place after World War IV and America and Canada have combined, and that's Aia is the country, and they have a casting system now, and she's in cast five. The worst cast I think is eight and the best is one which is like royalty and she gets entered into a competition of the selection which is competition to be princess of Aia and she kind of gets there accidentally almost and she has to compete against like 35 35 other girls and it's awesome it kind of reminds me of like the reality show The Bachelor but like kind of different but I loved it I loved it so much and I think there's another book coming out I'm not sure I wasn't sure if it was a trilogy or not Trilo trilogy trilogy yeah I wasn't sure if it was a trilogy or not but then I keep seeing that there's going to be a fourth book so I'm not really sure I have some novellas also that I still need to read but I loved this series so so much and I hope they're continuing it because I would love to know what happens next so if you haven't read this series yet I would definitely go pick it up the next book I want to show you guys is one that I thoroughly enjoyed I finished a couple days ago and that is Tease by Amanda Maciel and this book is about a girl named Sarah who kind of bullies this other girl named Emma and Emma ends up committing suicide and Sarah is kind of to blame everybody in her town kind of thinks it's her fault her and some of her other friends and she's going to court for it's it. It's kind of like an intense read if you liked 13 reasons why you'd probably like this. Um, the weird thing about this book though is that when you first start reading it every other chapter is like a different time point so you have August is where she is right now and so that's what's going on right now after the suicide and the suicide occurred in March so we every other chapter we get a chapter from when Emma was alive and then a chapter from when Emma has already committed suicide so we get to see if she really was the bully and then we get to see kind of what her story is now the thing about this book that I was kind of confused about at first is that I was expecting this girl Sarah to feel so much grief so much regret so much hate just to be so upset about the whole situation and our character Sarah our main character who is kind of the bully does not feel bad at all for Emma Emma's death and it's kind of crazy because you'd be like 
like you bullied her like you should feel bad but you kind of get to hear Sarah's side of the story and it's really an amazing book and I loved it and it's Amanda's debut novel and I thought it was amazing it's awesome there's a quote by Ellen Hopkins on the front so I'm sure if you like Ellen Hopkins books it's kind of similar to those so you might like this book as well I really recommend you pick it up it's it's great so yes that is teas okay the next two books I saved for last because they were kind of like my iffy books like books that I didn't really like that much books that I kind of sk started skimming through when I got to the last couple chapters just because I couldn't first one is Love and Other Perishable Items by Lara Buzo and if you watched me haul this book I was so excited to read it I thought it seemed so cute and fun and like a short read no 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 I started this in October I got like halfway through and I finally picked it up again and I just couldn't do it like it was just so slow for me for some reason I didn't think it was that entertaining like the characters kind of bored me I don't really know what it was but I did not enjoy this book I don't know what the star rating was I ended up giving it but it wasn't that high so yeah I don't know I've seen other booktubers rave about this book so who knows and the second book that I was kind of feeling iffy about this month is Breakable by Tamara Weber. And I bought this book literally in May, I'm pretty sure, May. And I had never gotten to it. It's kind of the second book to the Easy series. It's not really a series. Easy is a book by Tamara Weber. I'm sure many of you have heard about it. It's a new adult book. And this was kind of the same book but told from the guy's point of view. And I was like, oh, I'll love it. I loved Easy. So I picked it up and it was just boring <laughs> I don't know I haven't read easy in a while but I just felt like I knew everything that was gonna happen and there was these flashback chapters that were just boring me to death so I kind of ended up skimming out through the last couple of chapters but it was whatever so I just wanted to try it and I guess it just wasn't for me I don't know I really like you know Colleen Hoover's like hopeless and losing hope which is like the two different characters perspectives but I don't know what it was. But those are all of the books that I completed in the month of November. And now I just want to show you guys right now what I'm currently reading, which I started in November, but it'll be definitely in my December um, wrap-up. If I have one, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a December wrap-up. I'm going to do my books of the year. All that stuff's coming up real soon, so that's exciting. But right now I'm reading After We Collided by Anna Todd, which is the second book in the After series. This is a really big book. Like, I don't know. Like This is like a normal paperback. This is After We Collided. It's so big. This is like 700 pages. I started it yesterday and I'm on page 301. Um, so I'm, you know, pushing right through this. I've already read this story on Wattpad, you know, when this used to be a fan fiction. If any of you don't know, this used to be a Harry Styles fan fiction on a website called Wattpad. And the author has recently gotten it published to paperbacks and she's having a movie come out, I'm pretty sure. And she's been doing signings and it's all really crazy and incredible. And I really love the story. So I've been rereading it in the paperbacks. And this is the second book. The third book's coming out this month, I'm pretty sure. So that's exciting. But I'm really loving this. I'm probably going to finish it sometime this week. And yeah, yeah. if you're wondering about my TBR for the month of December. I'm honestly not sure. I know that I've been trying to kind of make a TBR list and stay to it, but I think this month I'm just going to kind of pick up whatever comes my way. I have to read nine more books to reach my Goodreads goal, and I really think I can do it, so please pray for me, send good vibes to me. You know, I can do this, guys. I can do it. So don't know what nine books I'm going to end up reading, but hopefully some like shorter novellas or shorter books, you know, just so I can probably get through it. But I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good month of December. I'm excited for Christmas. I'm excited for my birthday. I'm excited to do all of my like year wrap up videos. I think it's going to be so fun. And I'm hoping to keep on track this month. You know, I've been kind of slacking on the video making for the past two months, but I'm ready to just get back into the swing of things full time. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, like this video if you have not already and subscribe to my channel to see future videos from me because you know you want to. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.